Hey, I'm Skylar Woodward. I'm two-time Moscone Cup MVP, and you're watching Railbirds TV. Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we have more nine ball action for you guys from the 2020 Derby City Classic. We are joining this match already in progress. We missed the first game. They tend to get started. Sometimes they get started early without uh, without me realizing it, so I don't have time to go record hit record on the cameras. Most of the time, players actually start late. When someone actually starts early, it totally throws me for a loop. So that is Jason at the table now. He currently leads one nothing in this race to nine. Want to give a thank you to Diamond Billiard Products for putting on this event. Also, thank you to Billiard Shopping Network for your support as well. Remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you don't ring that bell, you won't get notified when we upload more Derby City videos. Then you'd miss out. That'd be sad. And share. Sharing is caring. Anyway, I am your host, Kevin Ross. Thank you for watching. All right, our players, Jason Casey is from uh, Kentucky, who I have no, uh, I don't have any sponsor information for him, but Naoyuki Oi, sponsored by Owl Products and How Cues. Naoyuki is from Japan finished, had a second place finish at the 2012 uh, WPA World Nine Ball Championship. He's represented Japan six times at the World Cup of Pool. Definitely one of Japan's top players. What a nice touch, nice speed. Whoa, what happened? You miss Q? You might have miss Q. All right, brings Jason. To the table with a really nice opportunity here to extend his lead.
right, Jason able to take advantage of that miss by Nayuki. Two nothing, race to nine. Let's go over the rules real quick between games. We are playing Derby City rules nine ball. It is rack your own. The break is the winner's option. <laughs> Most people will opt to break, so it's basically winner break. The nine on the break is a win in every pocket out there, even though we're playing rack your own. The jump cues are not allowed. If you want to jump the ball, you must use your full playing cue. You cannot use a break cue. It must be your full playing cue. Three foul rule is in effect. Three point break rule is in effect. And we are racking with a nine ball on the spot, not the one ball. And you must break from the break box. Three point break rule. What that, what that means is you must drive a minimum of three balls either into the pockets or past the head string or any combination thereof. Failure to do so will be an, in, it will be an illegal break. You would lose your turn at the table. Even if you pocketed two balls, if you don't get a third ball past head string, you lose your turn at the table. Incoming player will have the option to accept the table as is or pass it back. And if they do pass it back, uh, you will not have the option to push out. All right, got all the rules out of the way. Jason's made a ball on the break. Playing safe, and does he get there? Ooh, might have, might have left Nayuki a cut to the corner, but man, that is not an easy shot. Well, maybe for someone with a near 800 frog rate, it's an easy shot, but for us mere mortals, it's not an easy shot. Although, <laughs> like I said, near 800 frog rate, center of the hole. Nice shot, Nayuki. Nayuki is also known for giving rather uh, humorous uh, interviews <laughs> so go go look for some of his interviews oh no did he just hook himself he did oh no so go look for some of those interviews on youtube Jason with what should be a pretty easy four ball out. Good opportunity to further extend his lead. Well, that surprised me. I would have thought he would have played the seven to the corner. I generally don't really like playing position for the sides unless I have to. It's from all those Burt Caster videos I, I used to watch. He's handling it though without too much difficulty. Oh. <laughs> Thought the cue ball was going to stop for straight in on the side, but it just kept going. This is interesting that he's still lining up the side, even though he's almost straight into the corner. Oh no. Says, thank you very much.
Well, looks like players are going to take a quick break. back from break. Break for an Yuki. Jason to the table. No look at the one. Gonna push out. Well, that was an interesting push out. Long way to go just to move the cue ball a couple inches. This three ball bank to three nine combination. Well, forward bank to three out of there for safe. I was only semi joking about three nine combination. Playing position for safe. Yeah, normally this would be a pretty easy jump, <laughs> but when you got to use your full playing cue, yeah, not so much. Can't jump with your brake cue either. It's got to be your playing cue. All right. Going for the one rail kick. Just a hair wide. Pulling in for Naoki. And unfortunately for Jason, these balls are sitting. Pretty wide open now. Josh Filler doesn't waste any time uh, when he's at the table, does he? All right. Ties it up to a piece. Race to nine. 
Wow, table sprung a leak. Unfortunately, one of those balls was the white one. All right, ball in hand for Jason with a wide open rack here. Only six balls left and they're wide open. Interesting that he chose to go that side of the six. I would have thought he would have stayed on this side of the six. Nice. Oh, I thought it was in. I was about to say nice cut, but it's still on the table. One ball straight in the side. All right, two ball, three ball clustered up together. Well, we can see the two. All right, successful safety. Even got him on top of the four just to make it just a little bit more difficult.
Yeah, I'm, I don't know if he's going, is he going for a three foul or is he just trying to break open that uh, four eight while playing safe at the same time? Looks like he's shooting straight at this ball. All right, good hit. that 4-8 looking? Is that a makeable combination? Or is that 8 sticking out too far? The 8's off the rail more than the 4, but I think that combination still goes. even if the combination does go. It's kind of tricky to get there. That's a creative shot. He's lined up. He's lined up a combination on the nine. Should he get ball in hand? Nice little safety. And that does put Jason on two fouls. that's going to come into play. Fires that ball in. 4-2, race to nine. Tough shot on the one, and even if you make the one, 
What do you do with the two? path to go around table to get on the two. Too bad the one's still on the table. Good effort. But that's going to leave a pretty nice shot for Nayuki. Nayuki. Looks like you can draw straight back right between that 4 9. Play a 2 3 combination. Looks like that's his plan. It looks like that five. Looks like that five is on the rail. Looks like that five is in a bad spot. Of course, if he plays this four nine on the side, then it doesn't matter. to nudge the five. And he's going to be trying to play the four off the five. The move that five in a little bit more advantageous position. Nicely done. Oi. 5 2. Race to 9. break. One went straight in the side. He also made another ball and the two balls hanging right there. Three ball. Back for the five. Yeah, this is a nice wide open spread here. Yeah, three of the five is probably the hardest shot. That's really not that hard of a shot.
Although if you come up short on the five, getting to the six might be a little bit tricky. Not a problem. I worry too much. He brushed that eight. That could have. That could have cost him. Didn't, not a problem. Six two, race to nine. not having good luck keeping that uh, cue ball out of the drink. All right, ball in hand for Jason. Now, these are not laid out nearly as nicely as they were that last track. The two, got to go back up hill for the three, and then three back down here with the four. So he's just playing safe. All right, nice touch. Good hit. Plan B, run them out. Yeah, as I was saying a minute ago, yeah, three to the four, that's not the easiest of shots. You have definitely got some traffic to avoid. And he's hit that pretty nice. Nice shot, Jason. Trickle this in nice and easy. Should give you a hurt. Oh, he wants to go up and down. I guess maybe it was thinner than I thought. Couldn't trickle it in. Had to go up and down table. Well, I guess he's got a win he's got a window. That's the good news. Good news is he can see this five eight combination. Oh, nice little helping hand from the nine. Leaves a nice, easy straight in shot on the five. And by straight in, I do mean straight in. Probably just have to roll forward, shoot the six up table. And that's what he's doing. Woohoo!
All right, Jason Casey getting the job done, 6-3. Jason had a, maybe a couple of missed opportunities earlier, but maybe that will get the confidence uh, flowing again. Jason with the break. All right. Good solid break. Anybody? I don't think he's made anything. Nope. Dry break and he's left. A nice easy shot for Naoyuki Oi to get started with. They're wide open and it's even got the perfect angle to go to the two. such a hard time saying his last name. It's Oe, like the letter O, the letter E, Oe. And I keep on trying to say Oi. It's Oe. bet in Japan uh, the hourly rate uh, you know for renting table time must be really expensive so you learn to play games really fast Straight to the side, and and he's got a shot on the two. Three balls right there. He can cut the two in the side with some inside spin, or even outside spin, come around, or he might even choose to bank the two to hold it for the three, but not plan A. Shooting the side with some inside spin. And he's in a hurry. <laughs> The 
And uh, wait for traffic to clear in the aisleway there. That's a perfect angle to come up for the seven. for this bank shot. I mean, I think you're supposed to put the cue ball behind the nine, but my fucker rate is nowhere near 800. He went for the bank. Shot Jason. He just kind of cinched the eight. You know, wasn't wasn't trying to do anything fancy with the cue ball. It was just cinch the eight, take the tougher shot on the nine. Out there. All right. I must have lost. You know, I either lost track of a game somewhere, or the starting score was one-one, and I had it incorrect at the beginning. One or the other. Well, sorry about uh, the confusion on the score. Naoyuki does defeat Jason, but they both players had zero losses at the beginning of this uh, set, so Jason still has his rebuy available. So thank you guys for watching. We're going to have plenty more Derby City matches coming up, so make sure you are subscribed and you have notifications turned on so you know when those Derby City matches get uploaded. All right, I am Kevin Ross with Railbirds Productions. Catch you next time.